time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, Monday, December 11th. S&P up 13 and a half, NASDAQ up 128, Russell up 6, Dow up 113. Gold down about a percent, silver down about a half percent, bonds flat, notes slightly green, 10-year yield slightly red, oil slightly green, natty gas was down 10%, now just down a little less than 6. Grains moving today, soybeans up 2.5, wheat down 3.5, corn a little bit red. Euro and the pound slightly green, and Bitcoin down almost 9%, back below 40,000, or slightly above 40,000. VIX, 12.7. So, low premiums. At the money straddle will be around five, five and change. So I'm going to go no-go on tranche one at least. I'll make a decision if I want to do a minimal trade size potentially on two or three, but I'm I'm not going to trade anything for tranche one. Had a really day going, really good day going earlier. Uh, and I was very close to getting filled on my AM iron condor. Was up over 5,000 on it this morning and then it didn't hit and of course the market ran higher now it's down about 3600 got close to getting stopped out still hanging in there uh my quiet my early quiet lunch is down a little bit my regular quiet lunch is up 22 percent with a profit target of 50 i've got a re-entry on that's uh got a profit target of 50 it's up 27 Got in a PM Iron Condor. It's up a little bit. Booked profits on my JSP. Booked profits on one of my re-entries. I closed out my AM 945 trade at 30% profit just before the bond auction. I had too much exposure on, so I just wanted to reduce size. So those got, those got cut. So still up on the day, but was up a lot more. So I'll just leave those positions on, no tranche one, and decide if I want to do anything for tranche two or three. It is an up day. SPX is currently at 0.54% from the open. I also took a discretionary RIC that I scaled out of. I've still got one contract left so that one was profitable my last little runner holding to see if we get any more upside i just put on a new tgif with a three to two ratio in favor of the calls. I forgot to put on my three, four DTE this morning, but I did put on a one, two, it's up uh, almost 2%. I've got a four, seven from Friday. That's up about 6%. And my six, seven is up about 12 or 13%.
rolled down some calls in our gold strangle. As gold has continued coming down off of its all-time highs. Got a short strangle in MES that's up a little bit. Put on a short strangle in Natty Gas with volatility spiking in Natty. Sold some premium there. My morning iron condor, I mean, it could it needs down to at least 46.15 to at least see some green. Still hope. There's still hope, my friends. So some of you guys got your profit targets hit on the morning trade. I was oh so close. So tranche one would have been entered had I been trading it. Inverted, of course. Just a couple little futures trades today. I took one in on the notes. I was trying to get, I basically got filled on a half position in notes, caught that little run up. I was trying to get filled on the other half, but it ran away. So about $370 winner there so far. And then I'm also long a tiny position in MES instead of, uh, just want to get bullish since we we're up kind of short squeeze territory. And that's all for me for today. So zero DTE, I'm still up. I mean, I'm up 3,700 plus my Rick. So that's another, call it 1,500. So I'm up over 5K, but I was looking to have a really nice day. I was up over 10K on my zero DTE at one point this morning. Right around in this area. Before he started grinding and pushing higher. Oh, yeah, I saw Macy's. Macy's popped big today. What's going on with them? Macy's up 20%. No earnings or anything. Yeah, trading naked. I posted early. It was a disc totally discretionary rick right before the bond auction. Oh, Macy's getting bought out. Okay. A quiet lunch is at 35%, profit target at 50. So a little more, a little more on my quiet lunch would hit. A little bit to the downside.
Yeah, Bumblebee. So a, a, a real short squeeze is like what happened with GameStop. It's where you got people that are short and all of a sudden, for whatever reason, the price gets pushed up, causes the shorts to have to cover, which when you cover shorts, essentially you're buying, right? And so it just can perpetuates and squeezes the stock higher. That That's what a real short squeeze is. Um, when it comes to, you know, like Tim, Tim Weiss just named one of his zero DTE strategies, a short squeeze. And that just, he, he just named it that because it was the qualification was the S and P was up at least a half percent. It's not in any way related to a real short squeeze. It was just kind of something that he named it to, uh, you know, cause that, that's kind of what worked with him in his mind, um, essentially, um, cause he found in his testing that if it's once S and P is up half percent, at a certain time, it usually kind of stays up or, or moves higher. By the way, I just watched that movie Dumb Money this weekend about the GameStop deal. I had read the book. Uh, it's called, uh, it's by Ben Mesrak, um, The Anti-Social Network. So the movie was kind of based off that book as well. It's pretty good. Pretty entertaining. Oracle earnings today. I don't even have that on my watch list. Let's see. Oracle earnings 12 11 after market close. Yep. Other big movers today. Bitcoin getting hit. So Bitcoin related stocks down, Riot down 12%, Coinbase down six. Meta's down two. Google's down one and a half, NVIDIA down one and a half, Tesla down one and a half, Amazon down one and a half, Microsoft down one. SPX getting a little down move. My AM iron condor getting close to getting back in the green. My quiet lunch getting close to hitting 50% and it just did. So that's nice. Nice little down move. I'll take it. That was good for uh, 2,800. One of my re-entries is at 41%. I need 50% on that one to close out. See, my re entry is on the 15 straddle. So if it can come down a little bit more, that'll hit. Yep, 
my AM ratio is down at the 4605 call, so that one's got a ways before that one gets any real meat to it. Yeah, that was a rough one, PT. I was there. I was saying earlier on the morning stream, I want to I want to blame the refs, but I always tell my kids you can't do that. <laughs> There's something we could have done to take the refs out of it, but the whole stadium was well yelling, "Ref, you suck! Ref, you suck!" <laughs> That would be American football tomorrow. SPX currently up 0.52% from the open, so still in up day territory. <laughs> Good one, Wuga. That's hilarious. Yeah, he was definitely offside. It's not not like that, but <laughs> that's funny. Elliot, are you talking about the real squid game or the challenge? Okay. Don't tell me what happened. I'm watching the final episode tonight. Don't tell me. Don't say it. Don't spoil it. I've been waiting to watch it with my kids. They finally got a free night tonight, so we're watching it. All right, well, SPX decided to bounce back up. <laughs> That's... A that's what my 12 year old said. Dad, why are they crying? Just a game. <laughs> a lot of crying going on in that show. Oh, come on, SPX. Just a little lower is all I needed. That's what you did to me earlier. Tranche two would be in about six minutes here. Where are we at? Yeah, pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. So my tranche two update. Tranche two update. Well, we'll let's see where things shake out here. I may do a couple lots. <laughs> Is that American thing, uh, Elliot? It's only the Americans cried. There was a good good showing of Brits hanging in there till the end.
Yeah, Dark Avenger, a lot of times after FOMC, assuming price stays in the range, those TGIF double calendars pay pretty well. So I just wanted to get some more on. I'll be taking off my one, two, my four, seven tomorrow, my six, seven tomorrow. So just wanted to have some, some calendar exposure there. Or I'm sorry, my 6-7 comes off Wednesday, but comes off before FOMC. All right, tranche two, I'm going to go ahead and do... My normal position size is seven. I'm going to go ahead and do a two lot. Yeah, the, the Brits cry. They just don't, they don't have tears. They don't have souls, so nothing comes out. I mean, they tried to tax us, took all the prisoners over to Australia. I mean, they're just, they have no souls. Tranche two is going to be potentially inverted, isn't it? Unless we get closer to a strike. Come on down to 15s. It's nice and toasty and warm down here. I mean, they don't even get Ted Lasso jokes. I don't know what's going on over there across the pond. SPX currently at the 18s. There we go. Coming back down a little bit. My re-entry is at 42%. Need it down just a little bit more. I watched some of the... Uh, this was a while back. I watched some of that documentary of Ryan Reynolds and the other guy buying that soccer franchise. Um, what was it again? That was, that was kind of cool. Yeah, Wrexham. That's right. That was, that was interesting. Kind of started to get slow. I don't. I didn't finish it. I was hoping for more Ryan Reynolds in the documentary. I 
tell you what, Trade Steward, they they announced it, and it's kind of cool. They've got the, uh, of course, you, you've got the bot logs that you can check out to see all activity, but they've also got this feed over here on the left now that's pretty cool. Like it just said, Tranche 2 update. Bot was enabled by the user. And then it'll flash something when it's getting ready to fill. Tranche two should be coming in. Shortly. Oh, no, it was found to be outside the bot's parameter, so it's not going to go. All right, well, that's... You know what? I'm not going to force a trade here. It They use the open uh, slightly after the actual open to get the the data for the bot purposes, and so it must have been slightly less than 0.5% higher when price moved down there. So I'm just going to I'm going to pass. Yeah, it's 0.56 from the open. <clears throat> But Trade Steward uses like five seconds after the open or something like that. They have to for their to get the data they need for whatever reason. So it might have been a little bit. It'll be slightly off when you look at something like that. So no tranche two for me. It was going to go inverted, which I wasn't thrilled about anyway. And SPX bouncing back up towards highs of day. It's hoping for a little more pullback. Still have some early quiet lunches I need to get out of. My AM Iron Condor is a few bucks away from getting stopped. But a down move could still get in the green on that one. My re-entry was close to exit. I needed a little bit more down move as well. My PM Iron Condor is doing good. Forty six fifteen close would be ideal. Still book some profits on my AM. That would allow basically everything to hit. Yeah, it didn't it didn't it didn't fit the criteria. It wasn't up enough from the calculated open that trade steward uses. 
So essentially we popped up at the open. And so the open that Trade Steward uses was a little bit higher than the actual open. Yeah, well, today with low premiums, Dick K, what, I, what I've what i been doing is just like right before power hour, I, I'll turn them on and because I'm changing the position size because I wasn't going to do my normal position size. I, I <clears throat> reduced it and just turned on my up day. So <clears throat> yeah, technically, if I just had them on, it would have traded the normal day version. I just haven't wanted to trade my normal size with these low premiums. So I've just been kind of keeping them off right up until entry time. Because I don't want to forget and leave them on and it does a full position size when I wasn't intending to. All right, my re-entry back to 42% profit. Just a little more down. That one should hit 50. Tranche three. Looks like we'll get a straddle there. So tranche three, I'll go ahead and turn, turn those on for normal day one lot or up day two lots. So I'll try to get filled on a tiny tranche three. Yep, that's where I that's exactly where I do it, uh, Chris. And that way I just flip them back after the power hours over. Keeps teasing, keeps teasing me with a little down move.
And there's tranche three. Got in on the 20 straddle, two to one. So it did qualify on the update for that one. Went to that little bounce up. So the tranche three filled at five ten. Been pretty tight chop zone here for the last couple hours. My AM ratio is trading at 29.25. My stop's at 33.20. So any much of a new high of day, that one will get stopped. And there's my... One of my re-entries hit 50%, so that's good. Thirty two minutes to go. My six sevens bouncing around twelve percent profit, not quite to the twenty percent to take some off. My four sevens at about four to five percent. If I look at all my remaining zero DTE together, it 
looks like this. Five eighty six million buy side. That's the early indication. Well, my quiet lunch is getting back in the green. My AM ratio is only down 1,800 now. Quiet lunch is slightly green. PM iron condor likes it higher. Tranche 3 needs it higher. Is it your birthday today, Morrow? Happy birthday. Here's your cupcake. Opt for dollar sixty three tomorrow. <laughs> Cake after climbing. Tranche three trading at seven seventy stops at ten ten. Let's see my tranche three up day is a trailing stop. Yeah, we already got through that, Naughty Dog. Thank you. I've already worked through my issues on that. Talk to my therapist about that. It's it's dealt with.
AM ratio is trying to get back in the green. Anyone else still holding their AM ratio? I know some of you guys <clears throat> hit your profit targets. Nice. Yeah, I think I saw mine get my AM ratio get up to like 43 or 45% profit. And just never hit that 50 before it ran away. That is one thing about trade steward is, you know, I, I probably would have hit mine too. If had I manually entered some, I'm, I'm able to enter faster. It doesn't start trying to get filled until one minute after the market opens. So that little 30 seconds is the difference today anyway, but can work both ways. Yeah, the positives definitely outweigh the negatives. Yeah, so you're right. Like if I would have been adjusting to get filled, if I didn't get filled and I was trying to adjust... You know, maybe it would have got filled quicker than I would have anyway. So, yeah, you just never know. All good. Just happens. And SPX trying to bounce back up. A lower 20 minutes to go. My PM iron condors at 52%. Tron 3 is up 18. But my AM ratio is my biggest position. So that one does not like the up move. Is Tommy DeVito still living in his mom's basement? She's still making his bed. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> he was pretty proud of it though. He wasn't he wasn't shy about it. PT, you're a Jersey guy, though, right? I thought Jersey was more Jets fans. Oh, uh, New York. Okay. For some reason, I was thinking Jersey. Uh, okay. That's what it is. SPX trying to get a new high of day. My AM ratio is trading at almost 31, stops at a little over 33. And you still have a Rick Runner. Going new highs of day. I'll put a profit target on my last Rick at 12. Uh, yeah, Naughty Dog, that's one way to do it. I, I typically don't do it based on Delta, but but yeah, if that's kind of the way that you prefer, nothing wrong with that either. I uh, If you look at the updated lesson um, I with the longer duration ones that I do, I, I'm doing it more based on if the put or the call reaches 50% of max profit, which you could use Delta from that perspective too. Um, that'd be kind of similar. I used to do it. Yeah, when it touched or breached the the break even or the one of the strikes, but I've started more doing it based on the uh, profit target of the put or the call side. It's the uh, it's lesson number eleven, short strangle variations. Still at five eighty six million to the buy side for the third early indication. Final one out in five minutes. The real one's out in five minutes.
14 minutes till the bell. My only power hour tranche three is up a little bit. <coughs> I got a straddle. I'm on the 20 straddle for tranche three. My PM iron condor up 54%. If we get another push up, I'm going to close out my PM iron condor. We hit a high today of 4620.84. Forty so we pushed above the July high. We're at annual highs. Going back to and then going back to March, end of March of last year. We hit a high of 46.37 on March 29th would be the next kind of high point. SPX up over 20% year to date. 586 million, wait, 1.9 billion sell side is the final number. A little jump and flip. Not much reaction yet.
Yeah, not much of a move on a 1.9 billion sell side number. It's still pretty small in the grand scheme of things. All winners today. Nice, Marl. All winners in power hour for tranche three so far. All $483 of profit right now. Night PT. Nice, Frank. SPX looking for new high of day. My AM ratio close to getting stopped. I'll give that thing a couple more minutes and just close it. My PM iron condor is at 73%. All right, I'm going to close my AM, take it, take it on the chin. My uh, early quiet lunch, or yeah, my regular quiet lunch was a winner, but I'm going to close out my early ones for us for small losers. Close that one. Tranche three is up 55%. I'm going to close my PM iron condor. It's close to 75.
That one closed at 210. So all I have left is my tranche three and my Rick Renner. Oh, my Rick just hit 12. Oh, why not? Let's take tranche three to the bell. Let's see if it wants to settle back in at 46.20. Two and a half minutes to go. So took a $5,900 $5, hit on my AM ratio. That was a $10,000 swing because it was up, it was up 5K. Uh, plus 1,100, almost 1,200 on my JSPs, plus 980 on a re-entry, plus, plus 16, almost 1,700 on my 945, uh, minus 1,200 on my early lunch, plus 2,800 on my other quiet lunch. That was a mistake scratch. Uh, another 50% re-entry for 985 plus 2600 on my PM up day. And then tranche three, whatever that settles at. So plus still up 3,400 plus my plus another 1800 on my Rick. So still green, not as green as it once was. But that's fine. I'll take it. I did one re-entry about 40 minutes after the market opened. And then I added another one after the uh, after the bond auction. So just a couple little couple little ones. SPX still pushing. 46.23, 40 seconds to go, and prefer a settle into 46.20 pin. Fifteen seconds. There is the bell. Forty six twenty two and change. Nice little markdown. So tranche three will end up being a thirteen hundred dollar winner. Take it. All right, my friends. Uh, let's see. On the live stream schedule, tomorrow is the 12th. So Chad will be streaming live at the market open. I will be streaming for Power Hour. And then Wednesday, Chad will be streaming in the morning and no power hour, but we will be streaming live during FOMC. All right, all have a good night. Take care. Talk to you soon.